Hello there and thanks again for joining us for this uh, continued session of our short devotions on Christ's lessons on prayer. Today we are focusing on praying just as you are. We're going to pick up in the second phrase of that same verse we read, Matthew 6 verse 5, where Jesus says the following, and when you pray, the second phrase says, you shall not be like the hypocrites. That's our emphasis. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. When we come to the place, we come to the time of prayer. Our Heavenly Father is expecting us. What He is asking of us is not to be hypocritical. A hypocrite is someone who is insincere, uh, a pretender, someone who is not the real version of themselves. Technically, the person you see is not who it is. But the Father knows us. What He is asking is for us to come sincerely and genuinely to Him. You know, it's a silly thing to imagine that I can pretend before my Father, who already knows me. The truth is, He does not only know what we have done, but He also knows what we did before we did it. So in this case, pretense is useless. The beauty of prayer is in found in transparency before God. There is nothing to hide. You see, all things are visible to our Heavenly Father. There is no mask that is big enough to cover our shame. There is no human garment that is opaque enough to cover our nakedness. There should be no burden to try and impress Him by putting on a show. Why? Because He is actually impressed only when we come just as we are. Because friends, transparency is heaven's currency. So makeup is not even required when you wake up in the morning to pray because when you're going through those genuine tears, it's going to wash it off. So don't delay. Just come to him now as you are because he wants to hear from you just as you are. Let us pray. Father, thank you for reminding us that when we come to you in prayer, you want us to just come genuinely and sincerely as we are. We don't have to sugarcoat our life or try to appear nice before we come. You just tell us even now in this moment to come to you. So allow us today to just respond to the prompting of your spirit to pray. To know that each moment is a moment we can spend with you because you long to hear from us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.